Hey, it's Tim, Pickup Truck Plus SUV Talk. Early morning here in Cobo, oh, I mean Huntington Place, Plaza, building whatever here in Detroit. Uh, the president's on his way, so I gotta make this really fast, but I saw these two really cool Chevy trucks. I thought, let's do a video and let's show the differences between the ZR2 Colorado Desert Boss and the ZR2 Silverado Bison. So, marketing lingo for these trucks, but here. This is pretty cool. This is a ZR2. It's new, it's new Colorado. It's, it has the um, Desert Boss package. We have the big pole bar in the front with a flow tie. This lets airflow through to help cool the engine. I don't see. We have a winch capable and we have tow there and there. On the sides, we have that kind of fake fit uh, there, or the fake hood. And then we have some really cool tires right here Wrangler, Goodyear's, plus these um, rims combination. It is just. I just, I don't know, I'd walked by this and I was like, man, I gotta check this out, right? So, I like the look. I don't, I'm not sure about these uh, flares in the back, but that's okay, personal style situation there. From the side, we have the Desert Boss sticker. And then we have, you can see, the revised tailgate, right? Or the right tailgate and bumper. We don't have a bumper step anymore, that way, because it has more exit angle coming out of, when you're coming up rock crawling, thing like that. Chevrolet, spelled on the back. Kind of an interesting thing, where they left this blue, put black around, right? Spray and bed liner naturally on this. ZR2 badging there, right? And then looks like we have an LED light bar right up top. And then this vehicle's not on, and the guy won't stop vacuuming, but we have some nice stitching here. There's your interior. There's our bigger screen there. Shift to the right, which is, we talked about this in other videos. Shift to the right, drive mode's left. And then here's your interior with your seats, right? So nice stitching here, nice double stitching there. Seats fill, I mean, I don't know. I'd have to spend some time in those, check those out. I'm not gonna get in because they're cleaning like crazy, so I don't wanna mess up what they're doing. But come around the back. We can see the one problem with mid-sized trucks that are crew cab, there's just not much room back here when you do crew cab, even in a mid-sized truck. So there's that, and like we talked about on this channel, this seat um, position, leg room, has not been improved at all. So there's that. Okay, so let's go check out that guy. Okay, so this is the ZR2 Bison. It's a combination with American Expedition vehicles. You can see right there, our collaboration with them. We can see the different kind of bumper on this, right? And this is that um, heavy duty bumper. Then we have the boron steel on the skid plates throughout. Um, we have good grab handles there, man. Really good access there. And then we have um, the float tie as well. ZR2 badging there as well. Then on the top we have the hood scoop. That's in not the matted, it's now in the gloss black. Around the sides, we have rock rails here. Bison there. What do we got for tires? We have same Goodyear Wranglers. Yeah, same Goodyear, Goodyear Wrangler tires, just well bigger. <laughs> it looks like. <laughs> Does it make sense? ZR2 badging there. On the inside, this is the new interior, which is so much better than the old interior. Just it's incredible. Oh look, Chevrolet pops on for me. They do have some battery power here. There's your interior. It's interesting shifter on the left for Silverado on the Colorado shifters on the right. I don't know, interesting. Uh, we have st these seat bolsters here, feel a little bit better, and I've driven this truck, uh, the ZR2, Colorado, or Silverado, and these seats are much better than the regular trim seats. AV badging there. We have the single moon sunroof. They don't do panos in General Motors vehicles. Uh, auto four-wheel drive there as well, feature people like with the Silverado. Uh, we can see the crew cab. This is where you can haul family. That's why this thing's so popular. Look at the leg room. Yep, that's much better. Spray and bed liner, as you'd expect. The bison spelled out there. And then on the back, I really like the back back here better than the Colorado. So this is all black. We have a black badging, black lettering, black AAV logo over there. That's kind of cool looking, something like that. It just, to me, this is a much better look. I just like a better personal taste. Uh, we have some recovery hooks back there as well. You can put, you know, you can put shackles on this. You can put anything you want on that. And again, like the Colorado, 
We don't have the step and bumper like you find in most General Motors vehicles, trucks, because we raised this up, redid the bumper. We had to put our little logo on there. Yeah. So I just thought these trucks were really cool. Put your comments down below. Which one would you want to drive? Which one are you more interested in? The Colorado ZR2 Bison or a Desert Boss or the Silverado ZR2 Bison? Comment down below. And the video's over here. PickupTruckTalk.com is the website. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you down the road.